How's it going, guys? Matacaster here, and today we find ourselves back in Wreckfest, continuing our career playthrough. I disabled all the mods I have. I only have two, the NASCAR Legends, and if you haven't seen any of those videos, those are those are a lot of fun, and a very track pack to go with the NASCAR Legends, because it has a lot of the, the cool ovals and things like that. So those have been disabled, and we are continuing with our career. What I want to do is, I believe we left off, yeah, we left off here with the... Demolition Race Oval Challenge, Destroy All Super Vans. If you haven't seen that video, that is a good one. Uh, the the screenshot is of a bus just annihilating one of these super vans. That was a very, very fun, very fun video to make. Um, looking at looking ahead here, I'm excited for this one, the Harvester Death Match Challenge, to see, you know, to wreck some harvesters and stuff. But for now, we are moving on to the Demolition Racing Series European Tour so we can hopefully unlock the harvester challenge we'll see we'll see what unlocks once we finish this now we can use the rammer rs in this particular particular race or tour i should say but i want to look at some mods if i've unlocked any uh, up upgrades modifications for the rammer let's see what we got for upgrades as far as engine goes we've still got the uh the, the race engine locked we don't have much choice there let's see what we got as far as we got the uh, high performance air cleaner and radiator. Uh, we have unlocked the racing intake manifold. Let's go ahead and buy that. We're just going to trick this car out. Give us the best odds we have. We've unlocked the racing carburetor, which is nice. I think we've unlocked, yep, the uh, racing ignition. We'll take that. We've got plenty of money to work with here. 37,382. And I want to get the uh, the best odds we can get. The racing exhaust. And I don't want to outclass this car to, to a class A. We've unlocked racing valves. Might as well throw those in there. Let's see what we got. Camshaft. Yep, racing camshaft. We'll take that. We're basically just tricking this thing out. All right. Guys, I think, I think that's good. wonder about visual mods, what we have for that. See, we got some wheel options. It looks like eh, I'm not not crazy about those. I like the deeper dish of the other ones. Let's see what these look like. Eh, not really, not really crazy about it. I like the I like the stock as far as that goes. As far as exhaust goes, large side pipes. Oh, I love it. We're buying that. Looking at some different hood modifications here. That's kind of cool. That's kind of like the uh, Chevelle. Let's see what we got else. That's that's all we got. Either this little scoop. I kind of like this one. Just just a subtle, subtle little upgrade. We'll take it. Oh, they have wings. Do they have a wing for They do. <laughs> They've got a roof wing right there. I'm not sure I'm feeling that one. And we got a big wing back here. I don't know. I like, I like, I think I just like that little kind of throwback NASCAR type wing there that we've already had installed. Looking at front splitters or lips here. Looks like we have all of them available to us to use. That one's a little too big. I'll just go with this one, this little guy. Got some fender options, a uh, small cut, and then radical cut. I don't know. I kind of like small cut. I dig it. Let's do it. It's only 80 credits. Why not? Got some fender flare options. Oh, there's bars. That's kind of cool. And then now, nope, nope, nope. Not digging that. What else we got here? We have grills. Looks like stock and then that and that. Not, not any real big difference. Oh, I kind of like that one. We'll go with it. And then question mark. Derby sign and shark. We've seen this before. <laughs> Shark on top. Not really feeling that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's uh, go back to racing. Career. Challengers. Demolition Racing Series. European Tour. The Fincross Circuit. Main Circuit. We've got uh, six races within this tour. Bonus targets. Finish in the top three. Spin out at least three opponents. We've got 64% tarmac. 36% gravel. So we'll probably keep the suspension on the, hard, the tough... To hard side and then uh, we've got brake bias one click to the rear because I like it in the way that makes this car handle so let's go in 
and make sure I want to double check that those uh, those tune modifications are the same jump over to tune and yes suspension is stiff brake balance is one click to the rear perfect we are good to race and here we go starting in the back as per usual see if we can survive turn one here maybe get one of our spin at least three opponents taken care of right off the bat and we just got shoved into the wall hanging on to it spun that guy so we got one of those done and we came out pretty good on that make it through this little chicane here currently in fifth position if we can hang on to it that is and All right, we're on our final lap. This has been a pretty uneventful race as I'm only showing you the, the highlights. We've just kind of been hanging in the sixth position. Uh, but I do want to, and we just got passed. I do want to take a second, and we just got shunted into the wall. We got a new rival. Okay, this last lap, I was going to talk for a second, but it's turning into a little bit of a, it actually finally got exciting. Just got hit in the rear pretty hard, and it shoved us into the corner a little harder than I wanted to go, but... Looks like we're going to finish about 8th, so all those modifications really didn't do a whole lot. Yet with these smaller little tracks, you don't really see a whole lot of benefit on the low end. So we finished position, position 8. But what I was going to say is I uh, picked up some new subscribers. I want to welcome you guys. Thank you so much for jumping on board. It's nice to have you here. And uh, it's nice to see this channel grow. It's been a lot of fun. The next event is Pine Hills Raceway. Full circuit, track length, 1.12 miles, 54% tarmac, 46% gravel. I think I'm just going to leave the cartoon exactly where it is. And here we go. We did not make our bonus objective in the last race. I was just mostly trying to survive. Um, we'll see about this one. What were the objectives here? Bonus targets perform the best lap, crash out at least three opponents. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm just trying to, you know, with these championship little tour things uh, we got we, as I say there I was not going to pay attention to the uh, bonus objective of crashing people out because I at least wanted to get a good finishing position but it looks like that's kind of taking care of itself so if we crash out one more person looks like we'll get our bonus objective and we got it crash out at least three opponents so now we just need to maybe focus on best lap because that's what you do when you're trying to win which is what we're trying to do try to win this little tour we're hanging on pretty good it's been a while since I've been to this track I'm trying to see if I remember it we are in second we are now making a move for the lead and we got it see it's these bigger tracks where the engine mods really kind of shine where you really see the difference this thing would just turn a little bit better that would be nice and we just got best lap. If we can maintain that, then we got our bonus objective. All right, and we were able to maintain the lead by quite a bit. And we finished off that particular race in the lead. All right, the next event is the Mastin, Mastin Moto Center. It is a 58% tarmac, 41% gravel, 1% dirt track. The length is 1,143 yards, so sounds like it's a small little track, which doesn't serve our car too well, but we'll see what we can do. Lead, the bonus targets are lead for at least one lap, cause at least 500 damage. See what we can do. And here we go. We're starting in the 20th position, all the way back here in the back. And we've got three laps to figure this thing out and hopefully survive this first chicane corner thing. That's one way to do it. Coming in through the first turn. Maybe we can outbreak that guy. I've got one position there. And then I'm just going to shove my way into this turn. Use that car to bounce off of. It's a good, good tactic in banger racing. Oh, there's a split there. And I almost, almost hit it. That would have cost us a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever raced here before. At least I don't remember it. Yeah, this is a tiny little track. Tiny little track. I like this little chicane right here, though, because I can kind of... Well, I couldn't cut it that time, but last time I kind of cut it, and it made... It's banger raising, you know? It made up for uh, some spots. 
Oh, that guy looked like he was going to try to take us out. This turn right here is a tough one. And we got that guy, a little cattywampus. And there's that split again, and he hit it. That's what I almost did the first time. I've got to remember that that's there. We are now in second. We've done pretty well for this for being this size this size of a track. This car does not like it too much. See if we can make up a little time by cutting this chicane, and we did. Getting close. This thing does not turn near as good as that car up there does. Got a little more weight to deal with. And try to get through this turn and not hit that split in the track. I think it's coming out of this turn that it is at. Yes, it is. And we get through there. I'm making up a little bit of time. Trying to get on his rear end and cause him to make a mistake. Almost got him there, but looks like he's going to win out. And we come home in second. Not bad. All right, moving on to the Rosenheim Raceway, but I want to take a second and check the standings. We are currently in second to Janders. 220 points to 215, a five-point deficit to Janders. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for Janders. It is banger racing, and uh, if we want to take him out and make up a little, a few points, we can definitely do that. Not the way I'd really like to go. We'll see how it shakes out. Into the, into the last race. For this one, we've got bonus targets of Perform the Best Lap. Spin out at least three opponents. The Rosenheim Raceway is a, has a track length of 1,521 yards, 62% gravel, 38% tarmac. So another short little track. And here we go. We're starting 15th out of 24. Not too bad. And we're off. We've got this big old wagon ahead of us. We're going to try to scoot up and around. See if we can get through. Oh, everybody's setting up for the setting up wide for the turn, and we're pointed in the right direction. That's all I can hope for through turn one. We have made our way up to second place, trying to catch the leader, but he is quick. And what is he in? El Camino, looks like. Oh, oh, he pushed that turn a little hard. He gave us a chance to slam into him, but I think we did ourselves. More damage than good, because it slowed us up quite a bit there. It allowed third place to catch right up, and he's in one of those quick little cars. Let's see if we can get through this turn cleanly. We'll take this little dirt chicane here. He has got a loose rear end. Look at that thing sliding around. And see, he's quick and just took us into the wall, and that's not good. Let's see what we get out of this. We're still in sixth. See if we can hang on to it. Hang on to it. We're on our last lap, too. That was not good for us. Try to outbreak these guys. That was too much. Car pushed way tight. It only gave us one position, but I'll take it. Top five would do us well. So long as we can hang on to it, this guy's trying his best to change that for us. Get through this turn cleanly. I'm going to take the pavement down here. Cut this corner a little bit. Winner has been decided. We're currently in fifth. Can we get past the line before this guy? No, it does not look like we did. We finished fifth. Big question being is what does that do for us in the standings? We are still in second. 265 points to 290 points with Janders. So this is the point where we can start looking for Janders because there's only two races left. The next one being Firewood Moto Center, full circuit, track length, 1,592 yards, 53% tarmac, 46% gravel, 1% dirt. Bonus targets, crash out at least three opponents and win by at least 50 meters. Let's give it our best here. Okay, we're going to keep an eye out for Janders. We're starting in the very last position, 24th of 24. And once I see him, I'm going to pay him a little visit. See if we can't even the, even the score a little bit. First turn is always hairy, and I'm sitting here reading names more so than paying attention to what I'm doing, which is probably going to hurt us. Avoid that wreck. Where is Janders? He's right there in the red little tiny car there. I forget what that one's called. It's hard to keep, keep track of fictional car names. And we'll give him a little 
boot there. It only it really only did something to this guy here. Craver the greatest. Tried it. Ah, missed it. Tried to get on Janders and spin him out. Didn't work out so well. He is quick. That car is much more maneuverable than this big old thing. Which really pays dividends on these small little tracks like this. Hang on to it. We're not doing too well here, guys. This Craver the Greatest is like blocking. He's like, he's in cahoots with Janders, I think. We're on lap two of three. I'll just give him, get him out of the way. He's got so much torque, he's able to recover so quickly. We are currently in fifth, and we are on our final lap. Oh, there's Janders. And he is caught up in a big old wreck back there. We're maintaining fifth. I lost him for a second because I <laughs> wrecked out that uh, Mustang rocket and uh, thought that he got away, but apparently he did not. We were able to get ahead of him. Now we just want to put as many cars between them as we can, but this guy is trying to wreck us pretty hard. And we're coming to the finish line, making one more pass there, third position. And we're ahead of Janders, at least in that position. I'm not sure where he shook out. Let's see. Janders ended up in eighth. We'll see if that does anything for us in the standings. Checking the standings here. And we have just passed Janders, but only by 10 points. So it all comes down to this last race. Can we maintain a position over Janders? And if not... Do we want to take them out? It's at the Northland Raceway Outer Loop. Track length 1.3 miles, so that really plays into our hands. Surface is 58% gravel, 42% tarmac. The bonus targets are finish in the first position and cause at least 500 damage. All right, let's go. And the countdown begins. Three, two, one. Let's go. Where are you, Janders? Where are you, buddy? This is going to be a tight first turn, it looks like. Yes, it is. And there's Janders, he's right up in the front, in the little red tiny thing, and we're getting roadblocked by that big old wagon. See if we can get past these wagons, they really take up a lot of space and they really like to try to wreck you. Eight wheels turn better than four, get through that turn, and I'm keeping an eye on Janders who is at the lead of this little pack that we've got going here. And I don't really want to wreck him, I just want to pass him. I know, I've got my opportunity it looks like. But I, I want to do it the right way. I don't want to hit the flagman, though. Push tight through that turn. Didn't help us at all. That guy's trying to wreck us. The other guy did, too. Making for an exciting race here, guys. Getting up to Janders. Cut the turn just a little. Get on the tarmac where this car really shines. Try to cut our way up through. If the track allows it, then I'll do it. Cutting corners. And see if we can outbreak any of these guys into the turn and we did and there's Janders right ahead of us we are coming to complete lap one and here's lap two right behind Janders into the turn thought I was gonna get him forgot how tight that turn is and we lost those positions we made oh man this is getting exciting try to outbreak this turn that guy got into us and pushed us tight And Janders is walking away. Right behind Janders here, he is taking the lead and is now down to Janders and myself. We are still on the second lap here. Trying to get up to him, man. He corners so good, though. He corners really good. What I've gotten power, he's gotten cornering. So I come in here and I try to take this corner. And he just walks away on the exit. That's what's making this tough. He's got, he's got torque and handling. Final lap. This tight turn here. Yeah, he corners so much better. He's through it, and he's gone. But we've got pure power. Try to outbreak him there. Don't really want to wreck him. Just want to pass him, but we've got Craver the Greatest over here. Running blocks, and he is getting away, but here's where we make up 
a lot of time is just through the pure power. Get through this turn. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Get into it heavy. Try to make up time going up the hill. And we did. And we're getting right to his bumper. Almost. There it is. And we are by Janders. Can we maintain this? He is back on it. Where he shines on the exit of the corners. Get through here. And heavy on the gas. Let's go. And ladies and gentlemen, we have just won this one. Beating Janders by just that much. Final position first. Event rewards. Street carb for Rammer RS. We level up almost to 27. Well, about halfway there. And there it is. Congratulations. You have completed this series. Final position first. All right. Perfect. Well, I hope that was as exciting for you as it was for me. It had me <laughs> breathing a little hard there. But uh, that was a lot of fun. Guys, that's where I'm going to leave this one. Looks like we have unlocked the Harvester Deathmatch Challenge. We'll save that one for the next one. If you made it this far, please give a thumbs up, guys. I definitely appreciate it. It's a small channel. Any little bit helps. So as always, thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.